Hey, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Macha, Kodash. Give honor to the elders and the apostles that have a way and do well overseeing the tabernacle of David. Of course, starting from Prophet Abba Bivens, who was Elijah, who was John the Baptist, and um, the great prophet to come. Um, to usher in the coming of our Lord. On down to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to Joachim uh, that are pushing his word in truth and sincerity, all right, enduring, maintaining, holding the fort down, you know, because we're coming into the time, as you, and it's clear as day, I don't even have to speak on it, because the, 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 prophecies, are, the prophecies are speaking themselves. It is written, it says, at the end it shall speak and not lie, not tarry. And it's popping like popcorn, you know. But I, I wanted to do a quick in transit. I want to do a lesson um, concerning the term providence. All right. And this is a word that um, uh, embodies the character, purpose, and livelihood of a prophet, a prophet of Yahweh by Shemia Shai. All right. So right here, as you can see, this is the definition. And I'm also going to try to dab into the etymology and get some scriptures. Now, um, pardon me if I'm, you know, um, if I uh, stagger a little bit just with um op with the operations of it because I am in the car. I'm doing it in transit. I'm in um, some slight traffic, so I'm not driving too fast. Um, nevertheless, this is uh, the term providence. All right, and it reads, it says, the protective care of God or of nature as a spiritual power. All right, and this lesson will be called the providence of Israel. All right. Now, we, we know that term is utilized uh uh, to identify certain geographical borders and, you know, strongholds, this and that. But I wanted to look at it from that first perspective, which is of God, all right, um, that spiritual perspective of the matter. Because the Lord is our stronghold. The Lord is the one that's going to protect us and defend us um, every day, but m most vehemently in these, times of, in these times of trouble that we're um, currently um, embarking upon in Babylon the Great and likewise the whole earth. So let's jump into the scriptures. Um, let's see here. This is Psalms. Matter of fact, mm, I'm going to start at verse 1 and I'm going to skip down a little bit. All right, it says, this is Psalms. This, really, this chapter right here really embodies this lesson. All right. Um, but this is Psalms chapter 91. Verse 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, which is the truth, this ministry, all right, um, this, this understanding, this wisdom, all right, it says, of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, which is his protection, his the covering, all right, all right. Um, verse 2, I says, it says, I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge. And my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Verse 3, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. And the snare of the fowler is talking about Esau. I mean, most um, most prominently Esau, but really talking about anybody who puts you in um, um, distress and trouble. All right? So if you're in China, it can be speaking of the Moabites. If you in um if you're a Punjabi in India, it can be speaking about the East Indians who are the El Elamites. Um, so if you are in the if you are in the hood around niggas, it could be speaking about Israelites, you know. But it says um, all right, in the snare of in the snare of the foul, excuse me, northern pestilence is speaking of the missiles. His deliverers, Yahweh is going to deliver us from the plagues of the um, missiles that are going to um, detonate uh, uh, in, America, in America, 
when they touch down in America. All right. That's the North and Pistons. Verse four. Um, matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna skip skip around for time's sake um, to touch up on the points that I really want to emphasize. This is verse um, verse eight. It says, "Only with thine eyes shall thou." Shall I give me one second? All right. And this is verse eight. And the reason only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see is the reward of the wicked. All right. Verse nine. Now why is this? It says, Because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, or right, even the most high thy habitation. All right. Going back to that word providence. All right, the protective care of God or of nature as a spiritual power. All right, and when we get the etymology, we're going to see who is going to receive that providence. All right, the etymology, uh, I believe it's uh, pro, um, proedere, pro if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're going to get it, but it's going to basically um, just point out who's going to receive that providence. All right. So, um, thy habitation, all right? Verse 10, and thy habitation is basically your your um, your dwelling place, all right? Your, your habitat, all right? Okay? So, um, verse 10, all right? It says, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And that's... That's such a heavy scripture, bro. Such a heavy scripture. It says, it says, I'm going to read that again. It says, there shall no evil befall thee, meaning, you know, uh, bad times, all right, because the Lord is ultimately going to redeem us. All right, it says, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And the plague, and that's such, that's such a heavy scripture, because when you go into, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and do it real quick. Y'all yeah, shall got me. Oh, really. When you go into that word plagues, all right, matter of fact, all right, that term plague, it goes into, um. right here you see, basically you can read it, you know, the definition, and it's going into, um, like, basically diseases. All right, but it also goes into just simply like bad times, like uh, like famine is a plague. Let me see if I can get the um another um basically well that 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 um coincides with um what's going to take place. Well, what's taking place now with the coronavirus? The coronavirus isn't for the elect, man. All right, because. As it is written, it says the coronavirus is not going to not going to consume the elect, man. All right, it says it says um, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. That's why I mean we we use wisdom, we move swiftly and, and intellectually. You know, we're not tempting the Lord like the brother Rob said. He said, let me see, let me let me test the corona, let me taste it. We're not tipping. <laughs> We're not tipping the Lord, you know. But um, uh, at the same time, we don't have fear in uh, in these things and in, in these in these things because we serve Yahweh by Shem All right, because we serve the Lord. All right. Now, um, am let me see. Uh, I want to get, I really would love to get more deep into this, um, lesson, but because I'm driving, I am limited, uh, I'm going to grab, um, Proverbs, matter of fact, that's not Proverbs, but it's Psalms, so I can, and your brothers probably know what I'm going to by now, I gave it away, um, anyway, all right. 
right, this is um Psalms chapter 18, verse 2. It says, Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, the horn of my salvation, which horn meaning strength of my salvation, and my high tower. So the Lord is our high tower. He is our providence, man. He's our spiritual power. All right? And it's level to it because Yahweh Bashim has to be protecting us as a spiritual power itself. But likewise, you know, uh, we're going to be receiving those, um, those um, other, you know, increasingly, you know, various spiritual powers and that uh, are at a heightened magnitude, uh, i.e. Uh, teleportation, um, super strength, um, flying. All right, uh, uh, the super intellectual capability to be able to read the minds of people and control the, and the elements. All right, these is, this is what's coming to the sons of God. This is how the Lord has predestined us to, um, to dwell in that. And we were predestined to dwell in that lot, but because we sinned, because of Eve, who life came through, Chaya, we all die. You know, um, and we've lost our stature ever since then. But we're coming back into a, that um, that God-like stature that the Lord has prescribed for us. All right, it's not written, "Ye are God's children of the Most High God." That's talking about the Israelites. That's not talking about everybody. That's talking about the the Israelites first and foremost, the elect, the first fruits, whom we hope to be of, man. All right. So um. Yep, yep, yep. Let me get another verse. It says, um, verse 3. Alright, it says, uh, it's like this. Alright, verse 3, it says, I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Woo! Woo! It's easy. Lightweight. These dragons and their draconian measures will be, will come to naught, man. Yahweh Bashim is going to deliver his elect. What they need to be worried about is our plot. After they make they move. We are, okay, what, you, what they got to understand is the, the, we, the, the, the ball is in their court. All right? We're going to continue to do what we do. They, they, they want us to be reactive. No, nigga, you better be reactive according to the prophets and according to the prophecies. And we know according to the prophecies, you're going to come to naught. Esau, Edom, you freaking um, bankers, all of you um, demonic, diabolic creatures, man. All right? All of you people that FEMA, all you so-called, you self-proclaimed Jewish, Israeli people, man. CIA, uh, um, um, what is it, what is it um, uh, IDF. All of you demons and you cronies for the bankers are going to come to naught. All right? Yeah, how about you? Let's, let's see what happened. And, and you see the chariot. Your air reconnaissance has, has recorded it and reported it. Let's not play games. You know what's coming. So don't, don't even try to play that game. You know? So, you know, we according to the lick and according to our faith, we just have to endure, man. And these demons know what know what time is. I don't even know why they're trying to still keep up a fight. It was, well, it's because of because it's pro, because of prophecy's sake. That's the only reason why. Because they know what's going on. They understand. They see the chariots. They you know and, and, and there's certain facilities. Their um um missile their missile complexes. They, they are being compromised by the chariots by the so-called UFOs. So let's. Cut the crap, man. You got you guys, you you jokers know what time it is, man. You know the son of man's about to split that sky on you niggas, man. And there's nothing you can do. King David said, I should wash my feet in the blood of the wicked. Crazies. Then you go to the book of Revelations, it said the blood was up to a horse's brittle. What's going on? Stop playing with us. We can't be defeated, man. We hundred and forty four. Oh, we 
We just like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We are his sons, man. We are his reflection. You know? All right? Undefeated. Uncompromised. You know, and we will never let this house, this tabernacle of David, be hindered, man. Damn devils. So, yeah, man, that was, um, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead, since I stop. I'm going to go ahead and get that in Isaiah. All right. Let's see here. What's that? Isaiah, brothers, help me out. What is that, 54? Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, well, that's the spirit that wanted me to come here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. This is Isaiah chapter 54, um, 54 verse, um, ooh, the spirit definitely brought me here. Verse 16 and 17. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. And that's speaking of you, um, you know, Project Paperclip, the V1 and V2 and what has come after that. All right? The um, you know the the um the nuclear scientists, all right. It says that bring forth the instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy, it. all right. And who is the waster? Esau, Edom. All right, he 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 is the waster now. His the technology of the chariot has been given, all right. Also to the Moabites, the Chinese, the Koreans. All the China, China, North Korea, South Korea, all have nuclear capabilities. Um, who else? Um, the Elamites, so Pakistan and India, both have uh, both nuclear co um, countries. You know, now, but the, the forerunner of that is Esau, all right, being America and Russia, all right, and um, also the European nation, the top European nations too, because they're going to be shooting their missiles at America as well. All right, and I, shoot, how could I forget about the Iranians? All right, the Iranians. All right, how could I forget about them? Because you know, you know, you um, you guys over there in Israel, you know, y'all gonna get touched very soon, man. You niggas in the IDF and Mossad, y'all, the the Iranians are about to touch y'all very soon with those nuclear missiles. And yeah, y'all gonna probably touch them too. But hey, so witty, man. I don't give a damn. Because at the end of the day, it's about prophecy. It's about establishing the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. I don't give a damn about none of you heathens, man. You All all you heathens have a price to pay. All you heathens, heathens have a cup to drink of, man. All right? Damn devils. I'm being blinded by your own. Just like, just like Adolf in 1945. Who was it? Was it Truman? He passed away. Adolf is fixated off the, off the ideology, this vain opinion, and, and, the, and the narcotics in which he had engulfed himself in. At last, the moment I had finally been waiting for. He thought he was about to be able to break out that front. No, buddy. Germany was destroyed, and you guys lost. It likewise, is what's going to take place for you all you nations, man, with your vain opinions and your... And your your mad scientists and your your mad prognosticators, your mad witches and warlocks who have, have been deceived and ultimately will come to naught. We can go read Isaiah forty seven and it speaks of that. It said that they shall be they shall be stubble. It said the fire shall burn them up. All right. Verse seventeen. Concerning the elect, it says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. So these Trump and uh, um, Pompeo, <laughs> Mike, Mike Pompey, um, Pompey, <laughs> you know, and um, Bolton and all their cronies and their CIA and FBI operatives and these judges and magistrates and all these um, agents, who 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 frame their tongue against the elect against the man of the Lord? It says that the man of the Lord shall condemn. It says this is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and their righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh. I mean, we've been justified by the Lord. 
crazy people? Uh, are you are you mad? Justified by the Heavenly Father, and you know he exists. Stop playing games. Stop playing games. I don't want to hear any excuses, man. You know what time it is. Wake up. I'm talking to you damn Edomites now. Wake up. Literally blinded by your own illusion, about to try to go and fight the Heavenly Father and the, and the angels. Have you lost your mind? Are you crazy? Trying to conjure up demons to fight the Heavenly Father that the Lord created. Yahweh Bashim Yashah created the demons, you fucking idiots. What you, what you fail to realize, when you conjure up these demons, the Lord is going to sick them on you, man. Those demons are going to be utilized to plague you. Oh, the apparitions are coming, buddy. The apparitions, best believe, as it was in the days of Egypt, the apparitions are coming for you. You know, damn devils. Call Lord is bringing this Lord's bringing this place down, man. Let's get it, man. Call Lord Call Lord Call Lord Call Lord Call Man, this place is through. This society of the beast is through, man. Yeah, you gonna bring your chip, yeah you gonna bring your martial loss. We're so witty, man. Yah got something for that. I can guarantee it. The man of the Lord got something for that, I can guarantee it. Your plan should come to naught, man. So be comforted, elect. Hopefully, elect. You sincere laborers, man. All right, we are we are in the providence of 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 Israel. We are the uh, we are, we dwell in the midst of the providence of uh, of Israel, man. We are the providence. I mean, the Lord is our providence. Excuse me. Yeah, by Shimei Shai is our providence, man. All right. So whom shall we fear, man? So I'm gonna give all praise and glory to you. How by Shimei Shai by Shimukakadash. Of course, the double unto the elders and apostles. Salutations to you, Akim. Shalom. Keep the faith. Moaf Baba. Kwam Bachayayam. Rise Israel. Destruction to Babylon. Abad Baba.